Perth family is demanding change after forking out thousands in parking fees to visit the intensive care unit at Sir Charles Gardner Hospital. As it stands, not many relatives are eligible for discounts. And now there are calls to expand the program. For 25-year-old Stephanie Cooks, having her family buy her hospital bed as she battles major health issues has been the light at the end of the tunnel. I just can't imagine not having someone there. It's just meant so much to me that my family are so supportive. But that support came at a price, not just emotionally, but financially, as the cost of visitor parking added up to thousands. My parents spent over $2,000 on frequent trips, sometimes three a day. Um, I spent, you know, close to $700. Dennis, $300, and, and, and my brother, you know, $150. So well over $3,000. Stephanie spent five months as Sir Charles Gardner while recovering from liver transplant complications. And because she wasn't an inpatient, she and her family weren't eligible for parking discounts. It just becomes such an extra burden that you, um, you know, you just don't have to deal with it that, in that period of your, of your life when you're going through, through such a heartache. And the Cooks aren't alone, the private operator hitting other Perth families to make a killing. The multi-level car park at Sir Charles Gardner Hospital was built by banking firm Capella Parking and it gets all the revenue. Drivers are charged a day rate of $23.50. It reaches capacity for 70 to 80% of the day. That means the company's making about $90,000 every day. The higher the impact of the illness, the higher the the demand to actually be at the hospital and in turn the more money you have to spend to actually be there. The Cooks are now calling on the government to step in to slash the costs or widen the subsidy rules. Subsidised parking is available but you have to meet very strict criteria. Renal, cancer services and cystic fibrosis inpatients may be considered but they have to have exhausted all alternate means of transportation first. The North Metropolitan Health Service says it has no plans to change the criteria. The parking company has declined to comment. I'd just like people to stand up and, and look at what these people are going through and go, right, you know, there is a genuine cause here. It's not just about making money. Kelly Haywood, Nine News.